Glorp. I'm a fish. Blessed is the heathen when he receiveth the grace of my hammer. Ah. Sermon for the morrow. The young thief. A young man was caught in a daring act of theft and was condemned by the town's high priest to be executed for it. He expressed his desire to see his mother before he died, and of course this was granted. When his mother came to him, he said, Come closer that I might whisper to you. And when she brought her ear near him, he bit it off. All the bystanders were horrified and asked him what he could mean by such brutal and inhuman conduct. It is to punish her, he said. When I was young, I began stealing little things and brought them home. Instead of punishing me, she laughed and said, It will not be noticed. It is because of her that I am here today. He speaketh truly, woman, declared the priest. As the builder hath cautioned, take care to set thy children on the path of righteousness, lest thou be held accountable for their deeds. It is for this reason the builder imploreth us to be ever vigilant of our actions, for as a father to his children, he maketh himself responsible for us all. I think that's from somewhere is what I heard, although I don't remember what, because... I don't know nothing. Uh, I'm a total cult member. Right, well. Good for you. Anyways, it's enough, quite enough of that room. There's an old man. Okay. What was that I heard? <laughs> you guys, you just walk. You just walk everywhere. It is unacceptable. Although, I'm kind of curious where he would go. Where he would go? Oh, hmm. By the builder's right foot, it's cold. Blast this winter. I fear I shall never be warm again. It snows and it snows, and the sun doth rarely break through this cursed overcast. These old bones weren't meant for such weather, and nary a fireplace to be found outside the kitchen. Should the builder's house be such a frigid tomb, there be times I wish I was still a novice that I might have kitchen duty. If only I had quarters in the basement, at least there the earth provideth some insulation, and the generators giveth off a measure of warmth. I must talk to Thaddeus. The builder knoweth he never needs suffer the cold, snug as he is in his own cozy quarters across the square. Maybe not suffer the cold, but suffer a cold, perhaps indeed. Well, that's it for that. I suppose I could go and look at the kitchen and see if there's any food. Because it's the family food. Because back when I was a kid and learning language at all, I was in French immersion, and so a lot of times I would learn a French-style pronunciation before the English one, so, you know, I'd see the words fam, you know, uh, family feud or something, or just feud, <laughs> and and I would pronounce it food. They're having a food, because in French it would be like le food or something, but <laughs> I don't know. And then there was that one time I thought the English had accents on the letters, but it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, Jeff, look at Oi. Anyway, yeah, okay. Joking time is o over. Time of the orc has come. Oh, boy. I remember back when Lotte Le Retour de Roi was my favorite thing ever. I can see it with my waking eyes was my favorite scene. See you there. Coins? Come on! Jeez. Stealing, gambling. Crime time. Yo, I get mine. Okay, I guess I've been in here. I've been up there. That's where you climb up the basement. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Naughty time today. The upside down hammer lets you know that sex is afoot. Ah, to Brother Harmon, procurer, Dayport Chapel. Greetings, brother! I am gladdened to know that thou hast received thy shipment of fear of brew. It was most pleased, and I was most pleased by your praise for our brew in your recent missive. Verily, it doth ever be good to receive honest opinion of our efforts, and I am heartened to learn that thee and thy brethren do enjoy the beer. 
To answer your query, I believe its freshness be due to the quality of the water we use in its manufacture. We are most fortunate to be situated upon the very cisterns into which the city rainwater is collected. That water is a gift from the builder himself, and I can only attribute its quality to his blessings. May the builder guide thy steps, brother, and may you ever quench thy thirst with our brew, Brother Bosque Brewmaster, Monastery of St. Fiera. I, uh... I don't remember if there was a better explanation for it in a Dreaming Codex or what. Oh. But that guy's clearly not gonna tell them the way they make it, is he? It's the joke. <sighs> Yourself. Builder. Oh, lay with me tonight down. Or anti-gravity on the ceiling. It doesn't make much difference to me. I'm easy. In the way that you think, I mean easy. <laughs> hey guys, this was a room. What the heck? Oh, it's the Skrberium. Awesome. Very keeperish. But the only Skrberium I've ever seen is in a keeperish place. So I judgeth all my foes by their first places that they have been foe like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't read anything. I'm only interested in money, not education. Garrett, he is a sad, sad fellow. He doesn't like the builder, nor education. There's a curiously non-heavy stool. Yeah, I mean, this is just all auxiliary stuff, and I don't even think I have a loot goal, do I? Nah. Nah. This resembling the place won't be necessary. <sighs> because, you know, we're gonna blow up the wall. We're <laughs> gonna blow up the wall. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a minute. Did I read these good old scriptures? Prayer to the Master Builder. Oh, Master Builder, guide our steps. Keep them ever on the path of righteousness. Defend us in battle and shield us against the wickedness and snares of the trickster. Thine enemy in all things should we fall in thy service. Bring us swiftly to thy side, where in the fellowship of our departed brethren we might sing thy praise for all eternity. It sounds familiar because it's Stephen Russell, not because it's me. Come on, fame. And the man who has to build his house of twigs didst see it fall. But the man who hath taken care and built his house of stone didst laugh at the trickster and was rendered immune to his beguilings. Hmm? Good story, bro. What? <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Nothing happened. You didn't see it. Probably the first time I've done that. In my life ever. So, I got the information. Let's twitch the mouse around and take it to the guy. Okay, I'm going Fairbanks Man. That's what I'm going Fairbanks Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not Grand Central Station at the moment. Oh boy. I can't wait for another cutscene. I love the cutscenes in this mission. Seriously. Uh, said this gamer ever. Oh, but first, I gotta check. Just randomly remembered. Looks like a lot of wood up there. Let's see if I can play with it. <laughs> Just one. Yes, so. Hmm. Oh. I see you there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, maybe I'll just leave this up there, but... <laughs> oh, then again, maybe not. Uh... Oh. <coughs> yeah. Whatever, I'll take that. Okay. Rob the book. Go to the dungeon. The love dungeon. Right, well, I think I've worn that sort of styling out, so... It's just a cave. It's just a cave. It's a family-friendly old cave that ain't gonna scare nobody. Yeah, innuendo is scary. It's frightful because you're not allowed to discuss it until you're 50. I'm only 31, so 
I'm just breaking the law all over the place here. What your deal? Garrett, what news? I think I found something that will do it. But there's a high price. Anything. I'll pay it. You must forfeit your own life and your soul. My soul? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Tis only fair. Uh, a soul for a soul. Uh, what else is needed? First and foremost, her body is required. I take it you'll want me to... To retrieve it from the churchyard cemetery, yes. What else? You must inscribe a red octal on the floor in the ritual location. I can do that. And? There are four keystones that must be located. Life, death, spirit, and flesh. Oh my, wh where on earth will we find such things? That's likely to be the biggest problem. I'm going to have to scour Dayport for evidence of where they may be. Ah, uh, is that it? Unfortunately, no. We also need to inscribe a phrase on three different kinds of paper. Well, that should be easy. The Quill Bookstore over on Farpoint Alley has all sorts of paper. Good. But that's not the problem. The problem is I don't yet know what the phrase is. I have the book here describing the ritual, but that page has been ripped out. Ah, I see. So there's something else to find as well. Right. Assuming it even exists anymore. Speak not like that. We shall succeed, and you will be a very rich thief. I certainly hope so, Lord Fairbanks. Oh, one last thing. The dead's true love must be present. Apparently that bond is what draws the spirit back into the body. As much as I hate to admit it, her true love must be none other than Robert Highwater. Getting Robert here won't be easy. Okay, uh, first you need to find Brother Thaddeus. He's a Hammerite priest and an old friend of both families. According to Julia's diary, Thaddeus was going to marry them in the near future. Here's the key to his apartment. Uh, thank goodness I have a copy. Tell him what we're trying to do and instruct him to go seek out Robert and somehow convince him to come here and participate in the ritual. Okay. Thaddeus may even have information on the missing page or the keystones. Then I should head for the cemetery. Take care with my little flower, Garrett. I'll begin preparing the optical. Right. So now the awesome super check off the list fetch quest begins. I love this. Stuff. Seriously. I love these 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 questy quest things. Okay, so first to Thaddeus. Uh is that it then, is it? Right. Okay, so two Thaddeus. I'm really starting to come into this mission. I'm much more interesting than any of these other guys, of course. <sighs> yes, 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 I am. There's no need to pretend that you don't not do think so. <laughs> but, but okay. So secrets, how many have I got? One, two... Three up in the... Who the heck was that? Who the heck saw me? That guy. Also, I'm f it's funny because there's supposed to be a back window from the inventor's place, which I guess would theoretically be somewhere around here, but I guess we don't see it funny if we saw a broken window. Be real funny. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh. You're the place stander. Darn ya. Smile, darn ya, smile. I just found out Them's are the lyrics. Unfortunately, the smile word, and especially as regards song, has become rather a source of discomfort for me. Since, you know, the smile song was so catchy and I started singing it one time. In the presence of someone who was probably very, very smart and ma there? Ma mature. Rated M for mature. No, she wasn't rated M for mature, but, well, whatever. You. <coughs> but, you know, I'm always just worried about everything, you know? Like, I worry about somebody who's gonna laugh at me for eating breakfast, okay? So, 
<coughs> Don't nobody worry about that. Oh my god. See, for real. Just rats again. God. Uh, breakfast. Oatmeal. Are you crazy? <coughs> that was a quote. A really old quote from 1923. Sadly, not very well known. Not as well known as Go Ahead and Make My Day, which is a quote from Phantom of the Opera. Go away! God! I think you want some gameplay up in here. Right! So, as I was freaking saying, Thaddeus is up in here. I don't remember if there's lantern guys here this time or what, but I don't seem to have encountered any thus far. Oh well, let's check it out. Hello? Brother Thaddeus? Yes, and thou art? Healthier than you. Indeed, yet I be not too ill to defend myself, ruffian. Who hath sent thee? Relax. I was sent by Richard Fairbanks, who gave me the key. Ah, poor man. The death of Julia weighs most heavily upon him. So what be thy business here? He hired me to find a way to bring her back to life. <coughs> what? And I've succeeded. Blasphemy! <coughs> Thy serpent tongue doth lie. No, really. Look at this. Hmm. This be... Wait. Oh, Builder, thou art correct. He asked me to gather the components, but as you can see, there's one component which only you can obtain. Master Robert, <coughs> yes. Unfortunately for thee, I am unable to make that journey. This cursed illness hath sapped all mine energy. <coughs> you, Mr. Uh, Garrett. You, Mr. Garrett, shall have to go in my stead. Give him this. It will help allay his suspicions, along with the book. <coughs> As further corroboration, Thou shouldst take my rosary. It is upstairs in the bedroom. I'll get it. Are there any texts here which might shed some light on the location of the keystones? Perhaps thou canst look. I am weary and need sleep. Okay, I'll have a look around. Rest and get better, brother. Good luck to thee, Garrett. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Sit your face down, man. Guess somebody figured a way to make AI sit down. Hey, you. You're nothing but an AI. Pfft. So, okay, so. Ugh. He's too ill to go, but search the place for information. Turn to the high water, take the rest of Right. That was probably a bit more consistent. Still not perfect, but uh, fun. Uh, fun fact, I wasn't putting on that voice there. I actually had a cold <laughs> when I recorded this, because I... Uh, I was tr kind of dreading that part because I'm like, oh my god, what have I got myself into? I don't even know how to act normally, let alone act sick. What am I going to do? And I was just putting that part off. And then uh, one day I woke up with a cold and I was like, well, I guess I can't record. But then I thought, hey, wait a minute. There's a part where I'm supposed to be sick. What if I just voice it right frickin' now? Just as I am, and I did, and I don't know. I think it sounds pretty convincing, because it is convincing. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the actor's commentary on that. Um, and now... <laughs> I don't know where those sneezing sounds are from, though. I didn't record those. If it's from, like, the stock sounds, if you just got a bunch of sneezes and coughs or something, I'm not quite sure, but nobody asked me. So I'm looking for information as well as a rosary. And I've already forgotten. I remember having, I remember having a time with this. Hmm. 
Today, my faith in humanity hath been restored. Robert Highwater and Julia Fairbanks, the children of bitter rivals Alan Highwater and Richard Fairbanks, came to me in confidence and did reveal to me that they are madly in love. Clearly, their predicament is one which requireth a delicate balance, but their decision to trust in me this greatest secret of their lives is most endearing. May the Builder grant me the wisdom and fortitude to do right by them. Should the situation be mishandled, it could become most explosive. I advised them to keep their love a secret for the present, and vowed to work discreetly on both fathers to lay the groundwork for an eventual declaration. I assured them I would be most happy to marry them come springtime, if I felt the families were ready to accept it. Tis with a most heavy heart that I prepare a eulogy for our sweet Julia. As yet, no opportunity has arisen for me to speak to Richard, to begin preparing him, so he must have learned of the affair himself in some manner. Sadly, he ordered his son Edwin to challenge Master Robert to duel to the death, but alas, twas dear Julia instead who perished. O oh, Builder, why hast thou cast such tragedy upon these families? I am concerned for both Edwin and Robert. Naught has been seen of Edwin since he mistakenly slew his sister, and I fear Robert is in the depths of depression. By the Builder's grace they will come round to see me soon, that I may help them move past their grief. Both lads had such promising futures. I called on the Fairbanks this morning, and I must say I was most shocked by Richard's countenance. He seemed barely to recognize me, and was clearly bordering on madness and preoccupied with the tragic events of the week past. No doubt the fact that Edwin hath never returned weigheth heavily upon both him and Elizabeth. Speaking of Elizabeth, I had the chance to speak to her alone, and she confessed to being quite troubled by Richard's behavior since the burial. I urged her to leave for a time should it become too much to bear. <sighs> I love voice in this guy. And guys like him. Okay, there's the rosary. This door exists. <laughs> and I'm looking... Hang on. It's under here, isn't it? No. What exactly am I looking for? Search the place information. Where the hell was it? This is crazy. I... Oh. <laughs> this appears to be an old journal log written by members of the local Hammerite Order. You scan the book looking for information and find an entry logged around 35 years ago. While most elemental talismans or keystones are attuned to the elemental forces of earth, air, fire, and water, some sets known to exist are instead attuned to the twin spiritual dichotomies of life and death, and flesh and spirit. Twas but a fortnight ago that such a set arrived here at the chapel, in fact, and we were charged with the care of the spirit keystone, which Brother Maynard did secure in the restricted library with all due haste. I would have preferred to keep the death keystone, but twas not left to me. The eventual destinations of the other three keystones are unknown, but all their protectors were instructed to keep them in the vicinity of Dayport. I suspect our old friends the Keepers may have at least one of them, but the locations of the others remaineth a mystery to us. Brother Mathian. Brother Mathian. He's a random brother of no import whatsoever. Okay, so. That's the information. We gotta find the keystones in town. And actually, I guess we're done. Wait a minute now. Oh, right, I'm returning to the Highwater Estate to get Robert. That's right, I thought I remembered somebody else getting Robert. Whatever, man. Ugh. Yeah. And another fond farewell to Kaufmeister Sleepmeister Jones here. I'm sure he'll get better, no problem. It's only a darn cold. You don't need a vaccination for that, you freaking wimp. When I was a kid, we just got the flu and then got over the flu. Jeez. We only shot ourselves if it was something that was gonna kill us. Uh, yeah. Right, the North Gate. Ooh. You know what, though? Actually, I forgot something. So something is around here. But I can't quite remember where. Hmm. Oh. There it is. So I guess I just rope. Ah, there it is. So I guess I just go ahead and rope. Yeah. Peter, make sure not to peter out on me. <laughs> well, that's one secret. Now I... I, I want to say I think I've gotten them all. Okay, that's one, two, 
Okay, that's one secret there. The second is in the library in the Fairbanks Manor. The third is that peephole thing. The fourth is something. <laughs> no, man. I'll just have to see. I'll see, and if I've missed any, I'll go right the heck back in there, god darn it. Four to four. Not even close to the... What the hell? <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, uh... It's dying time again. 